absolutely essential in Cleveland's success this season. Once again, Asada does his job. He's started this game really well on the right side of the loop of defence. Yeah, terrific play from Hardy down this right hand side, showing what he's got. Bags of pace, lovely ball inside to Rose. That's, that's one thing we'll get. Callister, that's not a bad ball either, and McNulty has to show his paces in knocking the ball back to goalkeeper Davis. There's no slouch. I tell you what, against Andre Gray there, he, uh, oh dear me, he were, uh, he were up against it, but here we go, John. We're up against it again here, as a spare man across in the centre, chance here for Leighton, and the ball has gone into the net as well. Well, an extraordinary start here for Luton, and that certainly will settle their fans down. McAllister, the big man, may have just taken some sort of a deflection here. But having said he uh, took 40 odd matches to get a goal, Luton have found one here in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, you don't care how they come, John, but it's definitely got a deflection off a Fleetwood Town player. McAllister got it on that right hand side, looked across it to the back post, and it's took a wicked deflection off the Fleetwood defender and gone over the head of Scott Davis and Gid Luton an absolutely fantastic start. looking from this angle McCallister yes it did it took a, I wouldn't say a big deflection it was a slight one but it was enough to loop the ball up over the top of Scott Davis at this scoreline Fleetwood Town nil, Luton Town 1 yeah just exactly what the doctor ordered for Luton Town after those Luton fans have been tweeting us all day oh I'm just going to say I haven't had much to cheer in terms of attacking potential Wilmos got a chance to tee one up yeah he should be two it is two and Andrew Gray has surely scored the goal which is going to guarantee Luton Town a place in the playoffs yeah it certainly was not the greatest of all played out from the back and Robbie Wilmot's picked the ball up he's run at the Luton defence and then just slipped one inside to Andre Gray he's not been at the club long but he scored some crucial and important goals and not one bigger than that to put Luton 2-0 up and definitely now can we say that Luton are in the playoffs a simple finish, the goalkeeper did get a hand to it but it was a mistake made there I think it was Pondu who gave it away Wilmot took it on and just on the edge of the 18 yard area pulled it across perfectly for Gray who's had a good day and it's not going to be a great day for Luke. I think it's going to be a very good day for them it's certainly not a great day because Andre Gray has been one of Luton's better players today he's, uh, he's put a lot into the game shown lots of pace and you can see by the reaction of that mask gentleman down there thoroughly enjoying himself and what a day it is for them supporters do you think you could see that interest in these breakouts Asano he got inside Manga very easily he keeps on going Asano is he going to go all the way here it'll be goal of the season if he does but he's foiled by Davis at the very last <laughs> what a wonder goal that would have been to round a good performance from Luna Sano performance today. He'll have asked him to do a job, stand up and be counted. That's what he've said before the game. And he's certainly the individuals that have performed there today have stood up, they have been counted, and they've gone away from Fleetwood with a, a credible 2 0 victory. Luton and